Ever wondered what it's like to compete at the pinnacle of mathematical excellence? IMO gold medalist Andre Kirchmar pulls back the curtain on the unseen psychological struggles of elite competitors. How even the brightest minds grapple with self-doubt and the pressure of constant comparison. This is the raw reality of competing at the top. Have you ever dealt with imposter syndrome, the feeling that you are not smart enough and that everyone else is better than you? How did you overcome it? Yeah, I think that's a really important question to address because I have dealt with imp imposter syndrome and pretty much everybody I've met and talked to about that kind of thing in my in my country's like math, math Olympiad community and obviously some other people at the IMO. Everybody experiences imposter syndrome. Uh, but at least that's like the from from my experience of talking to people like it seems that everybody experiences it when you say you were talking to people do you mean you are talking also to people that won a gold medal at the IMO yes even at the very highest level of like people with strong silver medals people with gold medals there is a lot of people who are ex who have experienced imposter syndrome or are, are even experiencing it currently. I'm not like 100% sure why it's so prevalent, but it, I mean, it's a very high pressure environment. There is some toxicity, I guess. Obviously, if you're using the AOPS a lot and then you go to certain problem threads and you see some people, they're saying, oh, this problem is very easy and it took you a lot of time to solve. You're not gonna feel that good about yourself. I think a lot of that comes from um, also difficulty being subjective. It varies a lot how hard a certain problem is going to be for you. And some very strong people are going to find certain problems uh, very hard, while some people that might not be at their level find those problems easy because we all have different skill sets and different things that fit us. And then you have also the, the fact that the people that find problems easy and that uh, solve them more easily are gonna be much louder when talking about those problems like you know when you have for example an IMO and if when somebody solves an IMO question easily very quickly they're gonna want to to share that with people and if you really struggle with the problem and if it takes you more time than you thought it would and things like that you're not gonna be too eager to talk about it. There's that kind of bias where problem difficulty kind of gets underestimated within the community and people tend to feel bad about themselves when they when they hear people commenting, oh, this is easy or that is easy. But I have to say it's like the great majority of people in the, in the Mats Olympiad community, maybe even for everybody, like just you're probably better than you think you are. For example, a year and a half ago, I was not sure I would ever win a gold medal. It took much less effort than, than I thought it would. Big thing is, thinking you're not as good as the others, it's never going to help you. So the main two things is like realizing this kind of negative thinking, it, it impacts everything negatively. It makes you less motivated. It will not help you improve. It, it's it's going to hurt your ability to improve. And the second thing is, I think a really good thing to do is talk to some friends you have in the community talk to them like some friends that you trust that you feel are are gonna be open with you about this that could even be like people you met over the internet because now the community is very connected obviously like people you feel have good intentions and are not are, are not toxic and through talking with people you're really better than you think you are and overcome imposter syndrome the best advice i could give first of all is like the great majority of people deal with it and just statistically like speaking from experience most people ha have a worse perception of their abilities than their abilities actually are i, I promise you you're not the imposter you're, you're just as good as your results show you to be second thing is talk to people but people you trust and you, you trust have good intentions and the third thing is it's just a mindset that doesn't have any positives it, it, it just hurts you and it's not helpful in any way i guess that's that's a good conclusion <laughs>